So today we're going to talk about these fastenings on the rear subframe on the 4 times 4 BX. I'm pretty convinced that PSA didn't at all made their homework when choosing this as a mounting point of this heavy subframe. Because these mountings, there are one here, one at the other side, the two rear mountings on the subframe. It's only a surface here and a surface here that is like glued into this construction. And it just sits here. Do only these two and this area it's like it's nothing and as long as the core is standing on the ground there's no problem but first thing happens when you jack up the core jack up the core in the body and not in the subframe it's going to put put an extreme stress and weight on this little surface here because this is what the core hangs in, or yeah, this is in the core, and the subframe hangs in this ridiculously weak mounting. As you see, a, a, a subframe on a four wheel drive BX, there's a lot of weight. Those bigger rear hubs, their drive shafts, the big very heavy differential and everything here so you can expect these to not fail probably pretty early in the car's lifetime um, yeah so this this is just this is just stupid and I don't know if these are available uh, there's probably another kind of mounting you can buy that's for another core in the PSA range but but uh, I've, I've come I, I came up with a solution here because normally there is a normally there is a screw like this and that's a that's a mounting point in the body and then there's just these two in the subframe. What I did was I, I cut off this, drilled up a hole there, and there is a pretty big hole in the subframe. And this is a pretty strong part here. Uh, there is a thick uh, um, strengthening steel piece underneath here. So this is a strange, uh, this is a strong uh, part. So what I came up with was this. I'm gonna put a pretty long screw. I didn't show it. A pretty long screw with a, a, a bigger a bigger washer than that. I'm gonna use a bigger one that, that spreads out the weight. It's, it's gonna hang in it. So something like this. And then mounting these, of course. Like so. And there you have your mounting point in the body. I think this is a, yeah, I, I'm going to shorten that out because this is too long. And then this is going to press everything together and keep this, keep this in the car because since, as long as I've used this car, on this car, I bought it in, uh, almost exactly 20 years ago and the first thing when i was gonna jack it up because i did something with the brakes or something in the rear uh, i jacked it up in the uh, tow bar and this was just falling down so suddenly i had a, a half a meter of, of clearance in the in the wheel arches <laughs> looks, looks pretty funny but well that's not how it should be so 
this is my solution. Um, yeah. Because this is, as I said, totally ridiculous. There is no use of trying to glue this again because it's never gonna, never gonna work. It's never gonna work with buying a new one either, even if it was available, if you could buy it. You probably can, because this is probably uh, sitting on some other construction, maybe a Berlingo or something. It doesn't have this heavy thing. Um, it doesn't matter, because it's gonna break anyway. Probably sooner, not later. It's a shitty construction, and they didn't do their homework. So this is my solution. Uh, the front ones are no problem. It's the same one as on the C15 van. So these are available as the C15 parts. So this is the life of a Citroen uh, nerd. You have to, at least on the, on, the, on the modern cars, I consider this a modern car. Uh, you have to reconstruct, thing, uh, do, do some reconstruction of parts that was like stupidly engineered. So there you have it, the solution, the crap and the solution.